What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute stretch flow with dumbbells. So grab a light set of dumbbells and let's get to work. What's up guys, I'm excited that you're here today to stretch it out with me. I call this workout a stretch flow because we're gonna be moving more so than holding positions today, okay? We did a lot of cardio this week on the channel, so I wanted to get you guys moving, get the hip flexors loosened up, get your joints moving, and just feel a little bit better today after this stretch. Okay, if it's your first time here, make sure before you head out to click subscribe. I post a workout every single day and a stretch video on Sunday. So you'll definitely be getting your, um, your money's worth, although it's free. So <laughs> hope that makes sense. All right, let's go out to a nice wide stance. I want you to grab your dumbbell, just one of them, and it's a light dumbbell, by the way, today. I want it just to kind of increase your range of motion. I don't want you using it for a pulling or pushing motion at all. I just want you to let it pull you a little bit farther into those movements, okay? So go ahead and grab just one of them, and you're gonna reach down first, scooping out towards the front, and then back up to the top, okay? Big deep breath on your first exhale. Let's go down. And you're gonna reach, reach, reach out and pull back to the top, sliding back down your body. And we're gonna do the same stretch for about 30 seconds here, okay? From the side, I want you to make sure that you're pushing your hips way back, reaching way forward, and then engaging your glutes to come back up to the top. Good. All the way down, and you should be getting a little closer to the ground each time you go down. Give me one more, slide down, reach, 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 and come up to the top and stay right here. Okay, up at the top, I want you to widen your feet out just a little bit, holding the dumbbell with your left hand. I want you to arch over to the right and back up to the top. Okay, hand on your hip, reach over, and I want this to stretch the side of your body, okay? I want it to feel the adductors the oblique, or not the adductor, sorry, the obliques, the intercostals, your shoulder muscles, your triceps. Reach over, relax, back up to the top. Give me one more, and rest, good. Go ahead and switch arms. Let's go over to the other side. Okay, nice tall spine, reach over and back up to the top. Now, I don't want you bending your legs yet. We will get there. But as for right now, I just want you arching the side body over. And back up to the top. Keep your core tight. Don't let your chest fold over like this. I want you to keep it nice and open. And arch over. Okay, give me one more time over. And rest. All right, this next one, I want you to take it back to that left hand, okay? And you're gonna point your right toe to the opposite wall or to the right wall, okay? With your hand up top, we're gonna lean down, stretching your left side adductor, the inner thigh, and then coming back up to the top, okay? So kind of like a warrior pose in yoga, you're gonna drop that forearm down onto your knee and come back up to the top, okay? This dumbbell positioning helps make sure that your spine stays straight, you don't roll forward, you don't lay backwards. Okay, you're stabilizing it right over top of your shoulder. Whoop. And let's go down one more time a little bit deeper. Try to get this front leg a little bit closer to parallel. And rest, good. Go ahead and switch it over to the other arm. We're gonna do the same thing. So left leg points to the left wall. Okay, and you're gonna have your dumbbell up over top of your head. Let's go ahead and lean down, stretching your inner thighs here, and push right back up to the top. Exhale down, and back up to the top. Exhale down, and back up. Good, nice deep breathing. Nice open hips, open chests. Let's go down for one more. And come back up to the top. Great job. All right, so 
Let's take your left leg, kick it out front. We're gonna go into kind of like a lunge stance. Okay, left leg out front, right leg back. I don't want you to bend your legs yet. I just want you to reach up and lean. Okay, make sure your feet are about hip width apart. Lean back and just open up the rib cage and pull back up to the top. Exhale as you go back. And pull back up to the top. Good job. Not a huge range of motion here, okay? So don't worry about going into a back bend or anything here. Just want you opening up that chest. Last one. And rest. Good. Go ahead and switch legs. Let's do four of the same motion on this side. Okay, right leg is out front. Reach up and look up towards the ceiling. Exhale and lean back. And pull back up to the top. Good. Three more. Great job. If you need a little bit of a bend in your leg for balance, that's okay. Just make sure you're not going down into a lunge. And one more. Open, open, open. And rest. Good. Okay, now I want you to grab both of your dumbbells. Okay, I want you to click them together. And we're going to try and stretch out, stretch out your triceps here. Okay, so dumbbells are linked together. I want you to reach backwards behind your back as far as you can. Not rounding your spine. Keep your spine nice and straight. Reach back and pull back to the front of your chest. Okay, arch it back. Maintain those palms facing each other. Okay, so you're here. Reach back, bend a little bit. It shouldn't be a weight where you feel stress on the tricep. Just kind of bend your arm a little. There you go. You're gonna feel it in your tricep, in the back of your shoulder. Go back for one more. Open up nice and tall. Reach back when you get back as far as you can reach. Bend. Hang out there. Open up your shoulders. And rest. Good. Nice job. Okay, bring your dumbbells to your chest now. I want you to press them, keeping them locked together straight out from your chest. We're going to go nice open arm swings with control. Keep your thumbs facing up. We're going to open, close. Open. Close. By the way, if you don't want to use dumbbells with this workout, it's not one that you have to. I just, you know, added the option to increase that range of motion. If you're opening up with dumbbells, you've got a little more force pulling you back here. Okay, so just a way to increase that flexibility or mobility specifically. If you don't want to use them, you don't have to. Just move with me, okay? Two more. One. And two, all right, great job. Done with the arms for now. Let's go ahead and move down to the hamstrings a little bit more, okay? I want your feet to stay together and kick one heel forward as you scoop down towards your heel and reach those dumbbells back up. Like I said, you don't have to use the dumbbell, but if you have them, reach down and scoop. Just kind of helps you pull a little bit more, keep a little bit better control of the way that your body moves. Like bends, the other leg is kicking that heel out front. Let's go two more on each leg. There you go, shoot your hips back. Great job, one more each side. Last one, and rest, good. Okay, go ahead and have a seat on the ground. Drop your dumbbells down, you won't need them for this next hamstring stretch. We're just gonna go straight leg stretch, okay? So go ahead and grab your left leg with your right arm, pulling it up to your chest as close as you can with both arms. This is always one of my favorite stretches. I try not to neglect this hamstring stretch. I know so much is tied into our hamstrings, our glutes, our lower back. So tight hamstrings can wreak havoc on a body and on your muscular system. 
on the way that uh, the muscles align with your skeleton and you know how they position your bones um, or how they kind of hold your bones in the musculoskeletal system and let's switch legs so if you have tight hamstrings and you feel some lower back pain or you feel the inability to flatten your back out when you're bending over you need to work on these hamstrings if you're doing inchworms like when we do inchworm push-ups and things start to hurt or you can't bend down and touch your toes and then walk out. You end up bending your knees before you get back to your feet. That's a sign of tight hamstrings, tight glutes. So really work on these hamstrings. Okay, let's switch it back over and go one more time through hamstrings. There you go. Reach up a little higher on your leg this time. Pull it a little closer. Good job. And remember to keep breathing on the stretching workout. This is just kind of to unwind and pay attention to the way that your body is moving. Let's switch it over. Great job. Last one here. And good. Let's take that leg that you have up top. Go ahead and bend it and then cross that ankle over your bottom knee, threading the needle, so pushing your hands through, grabbing onto the back of your quad or of your hamstring, and just pull that knee towards your chest. Working this outside glute. Good job. This is also something that you can use a resistance band with if you wanna, if you have it around your foot and you wanna pull closer. I'll link the resistance band stretch that I did for you guys this week on the channel at the end of this video. So if you want to keep going, you have a resistance band, you can definitely take advantage of that. All right, go ahead and straighten that top leg. Let's switch it over, thread the needle, go back through, grab onto the back of your hamstring and pull towards your chest. I added a couple uh, 10 minute add-on stretches for you guys on the channel this week. I did a 10 minute foam roller and a 10 minute resistance band stretch. So I'll link those at the end of this workout. Don't be afraid to use those after your workouts throughout the week, as well as any of the other deep stretch videos that we do here together. And of course, don't be afraid to share them with friends. I know we all need more stretching and mobility in our lives, right? <sighs> okay, go ahead and exhale, release those legs. Let's come back up to the top, and I want you to kick your left leg out to the side, tucking your right foot into that left thigh, okay? Go ahead and grab the dumbbell with your right hand, and as you brace yourself with your forearm on this leg, I want you to let that dumbbell arch you over, outwards towards that toe, okay? Now, working here on your obliques a little bit, but also the low back muscles here. Feel a nice stretch on the side of your body towards the back part of the side. Chest is still nice and open here. And you bring your dumbbell back to your chest, set up nice and tall. And this time I want you to shift your chest towards your foot and loop the dumbbell around the back of your foot if you can. Okay, if you can't, just reach out towards your foot, that's fine. Still want you pulling your chest down to your quad. Okay, this is gonna target a little bit more hamstring, glutes, calves. And release, great job. Let's go through one more round of that. Okay, so take your left arm, brace it down onto your left leg. Dumbbell goes up in the air, let's arch it over, out towards your toe. Remember, chest stays tall here. I don't want you holding the dumbbell out over your leg with your low back here. I want you up and tall, arched over like a big C. Start to feel it down closer to your hips as you start to loosen up. Three, two, one, and pull it back into your chest. Come upright. Let's shift your chest over, facing your toes. 
reach out with your dumbbell, holding on both hands, put it behind your toes if you can, and pull your chest forward, down towards your quad, so think belly button to your quad. And don't forget to breathe. Good job, guys. Now I want you to take the dumbbell in your left hand, okay, and reach over to the side. Right, as you reach over, I want you to kind of fold your chest down towards the floor. Okay, this may look strange, but I want to target your lower back here. Okay, so arch it over, roll your chest down towards the floor, and let's hit that low back. Okay, right on this long side over here. Two, one, bring it back in. Great job, let's go ahead and switch sides. Okay, so right leg is out to the side, left leg is tucked in to your inner thigh. And we're gonna take it up tall first, okay? So left arm has the dumbbell. I want you to arch it over, bracing yourself with this arm on the side, and reach. Okay, so if you let yourself stretch far enough, you'll start to feel it down into your hips. You're holding your body weight up with this hand on top of your leg, just letting the dumbbell kind of pull you over. There you go. Obliques, lower back, hips. Two, one, bring it back into your chest and sit up. Let's go chest towards your quad now. Okay, so shift it over, facing. Let's reach the dumbbell out over your toes right on the ball of your foot and pull your chest down towards your quad. And don't forget to breathe. You guys feeling okay? Good. Three, two, one, and good job. Let's bring it back to the top. We're gonna run through that one one more time. Okay, so take that. Right arm, left arm, sorry, left arm up overhead, bracing yourself with your right arm on your leg. Arch it over. Try to think nice and long. Reach, reach, reach. I want you to feel this down into your hips right here. Feel it there right around your hip bone. Don't have to use the dumbbell if it starts to make your arm shake or tired. You don't have to use it. Just reach out and over towards that toe. Okay, chest is still open. You're not folded over yet. Three, two, one. Good job. Come back up to the straight spine position and let's go one more time, looping this dumbbell around the back of your foot, if you can. If not, just reach out towards your toe. Okay, wherever you're at in terms of mobility and flexibility today, pull down. This will be one of the few stretches that we're just holding today. Okay, when it comes to the lower back, I, I love to play it safe with that. Okay, I don't want to get you moving too much and have something go just a tiny bit crooked and then feel uncomfortable on your low back. So this will be one of the ones that we will just hold. Three, two, one. Go ahead and release. Let's come back up and let's do that last stretch that we did on the other side. Right hand has the dumbbell, We're reaching up and over. There we go. I'm folding over that bent leg. Try to get over onto your lower back again. Great job. Three, two, one, good, bring it back up to the top. Let's flip down over onto your stomach to work a little bit more on the anterior part of your body and these hip flexors from all the cardio that we did this week. Okay, so toes are out back. I want you to start in a high plank, keeping your toes on the ground. I want you to just hover your hips over the floor. Okay, so don't drop them down yet. And pull the hips up to the sky. Push your heels down to the, towards the floor. I 
On your next exhale, drop your hips back down one inch above the ground. And look up. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, drop your heels down to the floor as much as you can. Let's start to pedal if you need to. One heel at a time, push, push, push. And drop it down one more time, releasing those toes. Flatten your feet out on the floor. to all fours and sit back in the child's pose. I want you to come up onto just your knees and grab onto your dumbbells. A nice wide stance with your knees. I want you to open your arms up backwards, open your chest, and just feel your chest opening here. Push your hips forward, squeeze your glutes. If this isn't comfortable for you, obviously just drop the dumbbells. Lean back towards your heels and rest here. Here you go. Four, three, two, one, and release your hands. Come back up onto your knees. Let's move those dumbbells out of the way if you didn't use them. And slowly pop your hips up, up, up. Walk back to your toes. One vertebrae at a time. I want you to roll it up with your head coming up last. And thank you guys for letting me lead you through this stretch today. I hope you enhanced your stretch and enhanced your mobility, flexibility, with allowing the dumbbells to just push you a little bit farther into that range of motion, okay? Like I said, not necessary to use the dumbbells, but if you did, I hope it helped you a little bit. Either way, I hope this stretch helped you a little bit. Make sure you share it with a friend if it helped you. It would definitely help them feel just a little bit better about your fitness journey and going into the week. Or if you're closing out a workout with this, I hope you feel like you have accomplished a great workout today. All right, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna link the stretch videos that I did earlier this week for you. The mobility um, resistance band, <laughs> resistance band stretch right here, and the foam roller stretch right here. As always, please, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.